In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Today, I will be working on our entrance steps. Um, I have, uh, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a peel and stick backsplash type thingy that I'm gonna put on the stair risers. And then I have a like outside doormat <laughs> that I'm going to cut and fit on the steps. I thought it would look really cute instead of just doing wood flooring on the steps. We'll have a doormat so you can, I guess, wipe your feet off if you needed to um, when you come in. It matches the kitchen backsplash. This is actually made for stairs. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I don't think I have the <laughs> sink brochure was in there. I don't think I have the brochure for it anymore. But it's just a little peeling stick, like kind of like wallpaper. And it goes on that. So I stole Chris for a few minutes and had him go ahead and cut the doormat first just so um, just so I applied this peel and stick uh, stair sticker correctly because it is not wide enough um, for the backing pieces. There's going to be some space where the wood shows through and I wanted to make sure that the wood was completely covered so we installed the doormat on the steps cut it to fit uh, it's pretty thick um, and then we put these on and there's going to be like a silver trim piece that's going to cover this top part and then part of the doormat I think we'll cover a little bit of this bottom. And so we drew a line where that metal piece is gonna meet and where the floor mat is gonna meet so that I can put this right in between so we know that no wood's gonna peek through. You should have it say, y'all hey. Y'all hey! <laughs> well, which way do you want it? Hey, hey, y'all going up? Hey, y'all going up, yeah. Hey, down there? No. Okay. Hey, up top. <laughs> so now I gotta cut the sides off, too. Yeah. That's fun. The That's center just and. Pain in the butt. Yeah. So Looks cute, though. All I'm gonna do is take the same amount off each one. So I'm gonna measure.
Hey, baby, looks good. I look good? It looks good. Yeah. Now yeah. that we put that there, all I can think about is Outcast. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> you definitely won't get flagged by YouTube for you butchering. <laughs> But that's it. That's the song. It is the song. Okay. But the way you sang it is just a little <laughs> bit different. Exactly. That's why I sang it different. Obviously, <laughs> we won't have a towel there. We'll have a nice. Ooh, it's so water. pretty. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Hey, y'all. I am going to paint the fridge. Now you're probably wondering why. Why did I tape off the fridge? These panels are removable. Well, we watched several YouTube videos of people removing these panels off their fridge and making it look super easy. It is not. We have tried to remove these panels off this fridge. The videos on YouTube make it look easy. It's not at all. We could not remove them. Uh, we cannot get the doors off. Also, YouTube makes it look super easy to be able to take the doors off. It is not. It's been like almost impossible. So, um, I just quickly taped off. Hopefully, it works out. And I'm going to paint this bad boy. So I have finished painting the fridge. It is drying. Uh, it took about two, maybe three coats. And uh, it looks pretty good. I think that's all it's gonna need. And I decided to move on and build my own paper towel holder. We had some uh, leftover copper pipe from the shower remodel. So I thought, hey, that might make a good paper towel holder. So. I'm going to take this leftover pipe, got some more fittings, end cap, I'm going to cut it with my copper pipe cutter, and uh, this flange will go into the bottom of the cabinets, and it should take just a few minutes to make it. <laughs> 